I'm surrounded by these epic and historical structures. It's, it's crazy. Come and explore them with me. There are so many Angkor temples to visit when you come. Make sure you stop at the Angkor Ticket Centre to get your tickets before you try and enter the complex. The Bentie Surrey complex has kept its amazing and exquisite carvings thanks to the hard pink sandstone that was used to build it. Before entering any of the Angkor temples, please make sure you're wearing modest clothes covering your knees and shoulders. When I went to Cambodia, I used on-the-go tours. They had a fantastic guide to take us through all of the temples as well as some free time to explore ourselves. These amazing musicians are actually landmine victims. They play for awareness and to get money to help them live. Around the temples there is always locals trying to sell you some things. Please remember the kids are supposed to be in school. Ta Prom is known as the Tomb Raider Temple as one of the Lara Croft movies was filmed there. This was one of my favourite temples because unlike a lot of the other temples, it was untouched. It had not been restored. The Khmer Empire ruled from the 9th century through to the 15th century. This temple was built in the late 12th century. Surrounded by ginormous ancient trees and some of the trees growing through the temple where their roots have split apart the temple. It really gives this place an amazing atmosphere. Most of the temples were built in honour of the Hindu gods, as most of the Khmer Empire's rulers were Hindu at the time. Now Cambodia is largely Buddhist. I love that most of the temples have Buddhists walking around, sometimes as tourists, sometimes using it as a holy place. Victory Gate is not classed as a temple, but it's a great stop along the way. Victory Gate is surrounded by amazing faces. To me, they were very similar to the faces at Bayonne at Bayonne Time. Bayon Temple within the Angkor Thom complex is known for its 54 towers decorated with 216 faces. It's the perfect place to set up a shot like this. I'm actually quite
quite surprised at how serene these places are, considering the amount of people and the amount of history going on here. Oh, it's been excavated again. I think you can tell that there was once, um, you know, people who were quiet sitting here. It's quite nice. Bokong was the first of the large sandstone temples to be built. It was built during the 9th century. I believe this temple was built for the Hindu god Shiva. It's known for its Naga bridge and the bull that's out the front. It's a five-stepped pyramid, but I saw a lot of steps, and a lot of steps makes me think of Rocky. Okay, back to the serious stuff. I really liked the elephant statues that were surrounding the temple. The last of the smaller temples that I visited was Priya Ko. Known as the Temple of the Sacred Ox, I really liked the ancient Khmer writing along the outsides of the walls.